So the challenge with autonomous drone hardware architecture is that you have to be both real-time and smart. So by real-time, I mean the flight controller. Let's take a quadcopter. You have four motors and you need to balance uh, very quickly, constantly and without interruption. That's why usually you would allocate this um, flight control task to a microcontroller. That's usually called SM32 or a similar piece of hardware. Microcontrollers usually have very limited processing power and they have a deterministic behavior. So you can be sure that your uh, balancing algorithm will be executed very quickly uh, with a deterministic behavior on, in real time. And by smart, I mean what execu is executed on the compute board. For example, if your drone only needs to follow a simple GPS path, a microcontroller is enough. But if you want your drone to be autonomous and avoid collisions and to take decisions, then um, you will need a compute board, typically running Linux. So this board needs to be connected to sensors like Intel Redsense and run complex piece of software to interact with the network. And this type of heavy computation is usually done not in real time. To summarize, there is a clear separation of tasks between simple real-time computation done on the flight controller and complex advanced computation done on the computer board. So it doesn't have to be like that, but it's a very typical architecture for autonomous drone today. And working with Intel Aero, uh, you work with this kind of architecture and it's very durable and interoperable for the future. So the way you allocate computations to different pieces of hardware has changed over the years. Uh, a long time ago, we only had PCs and servers. So they had one big processor and sometimes a GPU. Then the mobile revolution arrived and we had some dedicated uh, processing units for the modem, because it's a very complex task, a small image processing unit doing your camera processing things and a dedicated piece of hardware, etc. Then arrives the HPC, High Performance Computing, like data center kind of computing, where you had a centralized parallel on specific computing, typically uh, CPUs with a lot of cores or GPUs. And all of that spread it on different computers. So let's talk about drones now. Uh, the way Intel is proposing to build autonomous drone is to have a central generic computing uh, device for logic on custom code, so that the Intel Aero compute board running Linux. And we have several decentralized specific computing units for uh, 3D sensing, real sense camera, for example, has a dedicated chip inside to do the 3D reconstruction inside the camera. Uh, computer vision can be offloaded to a neural network with Movidius. The radio operations are offloaded to a LT modem. It's a dedicated piece of hardware. And FPGA is also accessible. So in terms of communication, you have the choice between peer-to-peer -peer and centralized. Peer-to-peer -peer is how consumer drones are configured by default, and that's how Intel Aero ready-to-fly drone is also shipped by default. So you have a Wi-Fi communication between the drone and a tablet or a computer acting as a remote control. You also have radio peer-to-peer, -peer, so that's how all these drones work. You have a radio remote. It's great for low latency. But uh, typically, what you would have an autonomous drone is centralized, where you have uh, an access point, Wi-Fi, or a mobile network that is also centralized. And we have LT modems working on Intel Aero. So it's important to understand that Drones can interact, can behave like a swarm, can behave like a fleet, and not require peer-to-peer -peer radio communication. You can have all the drones talking to a central server that is synchronizing their flights uh, without having direct communication between drones. So to summarize, uh, Intel Aero platform is built on the best known method of the industry to build autonomous drones today. It is proposing a compute architecture that is both flexible and powerful. 
And it's a good platform to develop your skills. It is based on standards and you can reuse your skills later uh, in all forms of robotics, autonomous driving.